Okay, Whew, that was lucky. Man, I was lucky there. Barely made it. Uh, well, he hello there. Um, I'm not sure what you're doing watching me while I'm doing what I'm doing, but um, not really even sure what to say here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about three things that you're not doing that is flushing, literally flushing money down the drain that you're not capitalizing on. So let's talk about them. So thing number one is lead capture. For the longest time, I was horrible about this. I did not capture leads of buyers, right? Not even just interested people. I mean actual freaking buyers. Now look, people may not like it. You may get some people that grumble that they have to submit their email address when they purchase something. But you know what? I don't care because I want your email address because I want to be able to contact you to give you product updates, to give you additional things, all that great stuff. For instance, in my latest product, right, what I did was I had transcripts made after the fact. So I captured the leads of the email addresses of the buyers so that I could give them cool upgrades. So it's not just to sell everything, it's just to give them updates, right, and additional cool stuff. And that leads me to point number two, which is sell them some stuff. So now I got this list of buyers emails, right, and it's over like 1,500 people uh, of just this latest product. Well, what am I doing? Well, I'm immediately offering them something to buy. So if you're not capturing leads, that's number one you're flushing to. Number two is not offering something to buy. Look, I truly believe this. We move in a moving parade, okay? What I was interested in 10 years ago, I'm not interested in now. Hell, what I was interested in a week ago, I'm not even as interested as I probably am now. So if you're not making regular and frequent offers to people who can purchase your products, you're flushing money down the toilet, okay? So what I did was I set up an autoresponder sequence. I immediately right, gave them the cool free thing that they opted in to get. In this case, it was transcripts. And then the very next day, I offered them something for sale. Well, Tim, I'm not sure what to offer them for sale. Well, here's what happened with me. The product was on one thing, which was building offline websites. But I started getting a ton of emails and questions and support questions about, well, this is all well and good, but how do I get those offline clients? And then that occurred to me, right? The market was telling me what they wanted, which was how do they get more offline clients? So I sold them a product that I just happened to have on how to get more offline clients. It wasn't intentional. There was no strategery, right? It just is what it is. Now, if you don't have a product covering on what they want, find an affiliate product that you can promote, okay? So, thing number three. So not only you're not capturing leads, and if you're not, you're flushing money down the toilet. Not only if you're not selling them something, you're flushing money down the toilet, but you need to also remember that those people, you gotta be totally cool with them and provide them some good, usable, free content. I don't know, maybe like a video. You could even shoot it while you're doing other things, right? So remember, not just to pitch them affiliate offer, affiliate offer, affiliate offer, after offer, after offer. Provide them some good, usable content that they can actually take action. If you're, if you're not as ruggedly handsome and good looking as I am, right, then don't do videos, okay? Do blog posts, do screen capture videos, do, do whatever it is, but provide them good, useful content. Remind them why they stuck with you, okay? Thank them for their continued patronage and provide them useful and relevant content. If you're uh, selling to offliners, it makes no sense to sell them uh, PPC stuff unless it's related to offline. So remember, you got to do three things. These three things will help make sure that you don't flush money down the toilet. Capture any and all leads, whether they're getting a freebie or especially if they're buying. Okay? Make an additional sale to them as quickly as possible. Another way you can do that, by the way, which I didn't even talk about, is upsells. So in my most recent product, we had a $7, start off at 7 went to 9.95. People bought in that, and then they had an immediate $37 upsell. Again, a way to make some more money back, okay? And then thing number three is, in addition to selling, provide them good, usable, relevant content. And if you do that, I promise you won't be flushing money down the toilet. Now, if you like this video, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks so much for your time. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye now.